So as you know, I started this trend of going to haunted locations and camping out overnight back in 2018. And since then, it's been repeated multiple times. But a lot of you have begged me, CJ, we want you to go camping again. We want the camping series back. So guess what? Chris Baird and I set out to go camping inside the Pocomoke Forest to start off our road trip of camping adventures. In this video, you're going to see Chris and I experience some of the weirdest paranormal activity, get some of the clearest EVPs, and you're going to see in the background of this video apparitions and shadow figures. I'm telling you right now, this is one of the creepiest videos that I've ever filmed inside the Pocomoke Forest. Now let's kick this road trip off and give you all one hell of an awesome camping adventure. All right, bud, what do you think? We're gonna be spending the night. I'm a little nervous. This could be your last night alive, bro. <laughs> We're going to the your, your last night alive, man. Hey! Let's go! Wow, look at all the food we have in the fridge. <laughs> what? Come on, you right here. Like. Yep, no women live in this house, bud. Dude, that might change next. soon. Oh, we're gonna go there? No, we're not. Okay. We're gonna go camping inside the Pocomoke Forest, and one of the things that you gotta remember about what we're doing here tonight, it is very serious. This is the most haunted forest in Maryland, and quite frankly, the most haunted forest in probably North America. With that being said, hopefully you all love it. We're gonna go ahead and start heading south. So one thing I do want to do is welcome the new addition to the family, to the fleet. I traded the big lifted uh, Denali, the black truck that I had. Got a brand new 23 Ford Raptor. And this thing here is going to be converted over into what we are going to be called our camping mobile. Obviously, as you can see, I took it through some mud just a little bit earlier. Nothing like that. But this is also going to be turned into a pre-runner as well. And for most of you who may or may not know, we are racing the Mint 400 in March 8th through the 12th. If you are from the West Coast, we are literally, both of us, asking for your support. We need you there at the race. We literally need you there at the race. We have no notoriety in the off-road racing community. We're nobody. So we want to pack as many people here to the Mint 400. And also, if you don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, do that. Follow Chris as well. Links are down in the description. We're going to be hosting a big fan meetup out there. It is going to be on that Thursday. It's going to be massive, and we're going to want you to be a big part of this. This truck here is going to be equipped to where we can go off-road hundreds of miles off into the desert and there is a new series that we are starting called camping with skinwalkers this is an idea that as soon as i post this video that is going to be copied immediately but i promise you they cannot do it the way that we're going to do this right here behind me so without any further ado love you all so much thank you for supporting this video let's get going how are you feeling right now chris we should have went here in the daytime and scoped it out <laughs> you idiot <laughs> oh my god look how scary this looks bro come on why does that look scarier than like that woods over there i'd rather walk in there right now i'd rather walk over there than over here what in the hell what happened there why does it look like that i don't know it's all like just like mopped out wow dude that is so creepy looking over there yeah and we're staying the night boy oh shit we're staying the night boy <laughs> i can't wait i'm so excited i've never been more excited to camp somewhere <laughs> in the dark that i've never seen mm-hmm yeah. So like this over here is not bad, but that that back there was a little scary. I don't I don't like that. Hey, if I get too scared, I'm gonna lay right here like this and be like, oh yes, yeah, nice camping. <laughs> look, look, look at the stars. How are we gonna tow all this crap back there? Oh, that's why we should have came here earlier. I don't know why we're here. Well, we got a little bit of daylight and it's burning, so let's roll. I got that spooky feel that someone's off that hill. <laughs> so. These people here in their car. <laughs> what do you think they're doing right now? Probably what you're gonna go do. Camp. All I'm saying is worst case scenario, out of the two of us, you get killed. Cause I can run faster than you. If I push you down, <laughs> not run away. Ah, that's okay, I'll grab your leg. <laughs> you would. Grab your leg like a little chihuahua. <laughs> All right, everybody, so real talk. I know I'm joking around a lot, but uh, again, one of the craziest parts about the forest that we are going into is the rumors and the stories and the folklore around it. The Pocomoke Forest, you can spend hours on the internet researching this place. It is the most haunted forest on the East Coast, if not in America. And when the sun goes down, the ghosts and goblins, as they say, come out. One of the biggest things that people always, always, always run into here, you're hearing things, but you don't know where it's coming from. So paranoia sets in, right? And when paranoia sets in, what do you do? You overreact, you overthink, and then you start overanalyzing what is actually going on. And then all of a sudden you just 
They're like, you know what, I'm done. So tonight we're gonna stay here all night. I'm not paranoid. I just thought I heard something, so it is what it is. All right, so into the force we go again. I think uh, I think we're a little bit nuts for doing this. I don't know if like that car back there is actual like people just like hiking or biking, or if they're actually camping out here. Um, so that's a little bit of a weird thing. But we'll find out. We got like an official like camping spot, right? But it's deep in the woods. We have a slight idea of direction of where it is. Also, Boy Genius behind me back there, AKA Chris, didn't get a map. So it is what it is. And we are at, like, we are so far away from like where we normally are in the Pokemon Forest. Like we are like a 20 minute drive past all that. I don't know. This is going to be a really long night. I don't like this. I just wish we kind of had like a little bit of a direction other than follow the trail. When it splits off, go to the right. If you're navigating a trophy truck. You should be able to know where the f our tents, our campsite is, buddy. Oh, gosh. Damn, you see that alligator? No, I'm kidding. Well, there's reflectors and markers on all the trees. So, I mean, I guess that kind of helps us. What in the hell? What is that? No, I just been seeing like eyeballs everywhere. No, look at this. It's like some kind of metal. <laughs> Looks like a. What the hell is that? Oh, that's probably one of them. Oh, this is one of them slides, like a slide back from like the '60s. Dude, that's sick. You know what I'm talking about? Back here, though, it's like a weird spot for it. I don't know. It's probably like an abandoned playground or something. That's probably what all that stuff is over there. Mm -hmm. nice. If my dad was alive, I'd call him and be like, Hey, was that a slide that you slid down on as a kid? <laughs> you remember that one? The Pokemon? <laughs> my dad's not even from here. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Alright. Right, are you sure? That that way looks markers, that way looks a little happier. Look, he's up on orange markers. Do you, do you see what that is over there? It was two orange markers. There's okay. one right there. So how do we? Oh gosh, Chris. Why well, I let you get me into this? I should have gone and asked the guy. What? What is that noise? Okay. I don't know, it's like all this is a little strange. I can't even lie, we're we're deep in the woods right now. This is creepy as shit. Great, now we got two arrows up here, Chris. Which one? Straight or left? There's a there's two arrows ahead. Do we go straight or do we go left? That's so informative. Ah! Oh, good shit. Man. Dude, it's gonna be a long night. That right there tells me there ain't nobody out here this way. Or else they would've been scared off a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, my heart did too. <laughs> Dude, why is this so creepy back here? Oh, oh my gosh, some things are going to be the death of me tonight. Wait, here's number one. Yeah, he said one. That's what he told me. Is that what he said? There were three sites, and the first one was the one he recommended. Alright, geese, shut up. We I'll hear you. Good grief. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. 
All right, well, I guess we're here now. Oh, man, it's a nice looking little campsite, I can't lie. It's just about big enough for one tent right here. Amazing. Oh wait, you, you can set a tent up here and a tent here. What if we got separate campsites? I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm alright. Okay. All right, well, we found it. Well, can we start a fire now? And then... They said we could start a fire. There's no burn ban. It would stay warm. Do you have a lighter? I think so. I'm crossing my fingers that you have a lighter because it is freezing out here. Cavemen didn't need lighters. We're strong in the cavemen. I'm going to put that ring inside my tent and start the fire that way. Okay. I feel like a burn ban could be in the fact that it's dry. I know. Look at it. Well, I guess not. Look at how... No, it is pretty dry. What was that? Is there a car out here? There's people out there? There might be. Hello? Hello? Oh boy. Awesome. Camping tip number one, get here early. Camping tip number two, just don't camp at all. And camping tip number three, don't be stupid like us. That's pretty easy rule to follow. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter for more camping advice. Where the hell did that trail go? I mean, so I'll go find I'll go for it. So we're that, we're that way, and then there's something that way. That looks like a whole lot of hell no. Oh man. So, one thing that we are going to do tonight, Chris and I, we have decided that we are going to split up. And the reason why we're going to split up is we're giving you two different perspectives. So if you have not, if you watch this video and you haven't seen Chris's video, I'm going to highly recommend to go do that. Um, you know, regardless of what happens tonight, it's going to be two separate videos. So that's the most important thing about what we're doing here tonight is just giving you two videos in one area and yeah we got all the ghost boxes we got all the all of the ghost equipment we call it we're going to be bringing that as well it's going to be a long night i'm i'm sure of it <laughs> as we were walking we actually missed a trail and apparently according to chris this is our campsite here so Kind of cool. Somebody's already got some firewood waiting for us, which is odd. Didn't need a map. I told him I didn't need a map. He doubted me, and then we found the campsite. So I think if you just trust me with the directions, you, I got this. Uh huh. Sure will, buddy. Wish you were here. That's all I'm saying. Wish you were here. Oh. Yeah. So we have Alright, so like I can't even lie. I did doubt Chris just like a little bit, but. Rightfully so, because I like that campsite that we were walking to. Like, I don't know if like time difference with you all watching versus what we'll edit it to. Like, we might like chop it up along the way, but that was that was a long walk. I mean, it was like a 12 minute walk there, 12 minute walk back. As we were probably about 10 minutes into our walk, we found this trail that runs this way, and we found the actual campsite that we should be at. So. We're, we're corrected now. We're good. All right, everybody. The tents are set up. I didn't do like a time lapse of that because nobody likes tent time lapses. I mean, it's stupid regardless, right? So we got both tents set up. Chris and I are about to now split up. And one thing that I wanted to add in this video for may maybe some new viewers who are coming in here to the channel, this is going to be like the new style that you see on, on the channel here. Um, if you don't know, I bought uh, the world's most haunted farm. It's actually the United States' most haunted farm a couple of months or a couple weeks ago, I guess. And uh, yeah, we wanted to um, wanted to bring you all some different style content. So you're gonna see a lot of farm videos. You're gonna see a ton of camping videos. And again, this truck here that the camera's sitting on the Raptor, it is um, it's gonna be made out to uh, basically an excursion truck to where you go in the middle of nowhere with this thing can be there for days, not have to worry about anything. So yeah, without any further ado, 
let's get right into this video. That's weird, dude. My camera battery thing, as soon as I said, let's get right into this video, boom, flashing red. Mm. Brand, new, brand new battery, I'm just saying. All right, so there's my lovely small tent next to the picnic table. Um, just to give y'all like a little bit of a heads up, Chris is way over there. And um, <laughs> yeah, it's already cold. That sleeping bag is gonna be freezing by the time I get into it. But um, realistically though, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna split up. We had to put a couple things inside of the tent. Hmm, weird. So anyway, if you all wanna see more camping videos, get this video to 15,000 likes. Just shows us that, hey, number one, we're doing the right thing for content, y'all are liking it, and it helps the algorithm a ton. So if you don't mind, just hit that like button. When I say we, you all and me, we are on the road to 1 million subscribers. Let's get this hyped up. Let's make this happen. If you don't mind, share this video with a friend maybe who might like this, whatever. Love y'all so much. So now we have to split up. <laughs> mm. Haunted forest late at night, dark, creepy. Yeah, what could go wrong. Out here Have fun, brother. Have fun. Aren't we splitting up? Oh, okay, you want to come with me? Yeah, like we're gonna split off at that at that Y. Uh oh. A light? I'll check the footage back. I thought I saw a light, like straight back. It was like, flat, like a flash quick. I don't know if I just saw a reflector or something, maybe. Hmm. Maybe, who knows? Working at the car wash. Oh, 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 in a car wash, yeah. Put it da da da. Alright, y'all, get ready for this. I'm gonna scare Chris. Is this the right way? I think so. So this is something that we about briefly. <laughs> 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 oh my jeez. <laughs> He's not amused. Oh jeez. I'm telling you, this is like slippery and sketchy. How many people you think have been on their bike coming across this bridge and it just goes like whoop whoop? Because slippery and the bridge is like slanted. That angle for sure. Yeah. Nah, it's at a hella angle. Yeah, you know what? I'm not trying to ruin another pair of cowboy boots, so how about it? Whoa, 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 car wash, yeah. Why do I have that car wash song stuck in my head? I don't know, it's not great. Working at the car wash. Whoa, 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 yeah, car wash, yeah. All right, there's the slide, there's the stairs. We know that's like central. So which way are you going, left or right? Go You're going left? Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm going to go right then. Cool. Awesome. What's the plan? 
Um, I just see if you say anything. I'm, I'm going after like the whole theory of like the shadow figures and all that kind of stuff. Like that's what I want to find tonight. Okay. Yeah, like well, truly that's what I want to find. I just want to get some type of communication. Maybe get some answers. Figure out what's here. Why it's here. All right. <laughs> Scream really loud if you need me. Okay. You want to meet up or what do you want to do? Yeah. Let's like come back here like in about an hour. Okay. Great. All right. So I'm going to give you all, um, let me give you all a little bit of a rundown of some history about the uh, Pokemon Forest. So, a lot of people are always asking, CJ, why is this place so haunted? Well, there's a couple of different reasons why. And some of the stories kind of ring true to other forests, which are weird. But if you look at the dates in which they say these stories happened, it's rumored to believe that this is probably your... I don't know what the shit that was, but anyway. Um, the first one, the most popular one, kind of creeps me out more than anything. Um, a boy and a girl were in a car. They basically ran out of gas. They heard something. The boy got out to go look for a phone. And this was like way back in like the early 60s, 50s era. And uh, basically, while they while he got out, he basically told the girl to stay in the car, blah, blah, blah. He's gone for a long time. She kept hearing noises all on the roof. Uh, you know, she never turned around at all. She just laid there on the seat. She fell asleep. She finally woke up in the morning and she remembered what had happened. So she sat up slowly, looked out the front windshield, and then when she turned around to the back window, she saw her boyfriend's head on the trunk. She got out, screamed, and, you know, basically the, the, the noises that she heard through the night were her boyfriend's fingernails scratching the top of the car. And that's kind of one of the creepier things. So it's, it's always said that, like, Hookman is out here in these woods. And what in the hell is that? Ooh. Okay. Wait a second here. What is that? What? That might explain what these hills are. So, as you know, the Pokemon Forest is not very hilly. Let's just put it that way. And for some weird reason around this section in this area of the woods, there's hills probably eight, ten foot tall right here. And you know, you always hear rumors and stuff, but like, oh, what's a deep hole? You always hear rumors about hidden bunkers. I don't necessarily know. I believe this is a bunker. I mean, it could be. What the hell was that? Chris! Chris! I swear to you, I just saw a light, but... Chris! Alright, I'm going off trail just because I can. Yeah, I want to. keep seeing a light down there, but I don't know if that's him or not. I don't know who else it would be, but just saying. So, another one of the most iconic stories here in the Pokemon Forest is about the school bus. There's a busload of students going to an old, um, going to see the old furnace, and basically it was a history class trip. And during that trip, <clears throat> um, the bus driver decided that it was quicker to use some of the back roads in the forest. The bus had some engine trouble while on the back roads. The driver got out to check and tried to find the trouble, basically. And all of a sudden, there was a noise as if people were walking up and down the top of the bus. Many students got pretty curious all of a sudden. Uh, but, you know, nobody was scared. But then several horrible, ugly faces appeared at several of the windows. And basically, the faces were as of out of nowhere. And the teacher told everybody to close their windows if they were open. She tried to keep everybody calm. Then she went to ask the driver if he was ready to go, and he was nowhere to be found, and there was a skeleton beside the front of the bus. Um, you know, and to this day, the bus driver has never been found. Uh, although people do claim that they have seen him, I'm not exactly sure what, like, attire a bus driver would have been wearing to, like, you know, to stand out. I, I don't know. It's just so many... That's the problem with, like, folklore, though, is, like, you just don't know. It's just 
weird. There's some serious holes and serious hills around here. Shit, something is walking. Hello? Oh, 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 shit! Oh, no! Holy I'm pretty sure I just caught that on camera. I'm pretty sure I just caught that on camera. Something just threw that stick at me. Chris! Chris! I think I came from this way. I might have come from that way. I don't know where. Okay. Okay. I don't care where anybody says. Wait, this is not the trail that I was on. Wait, yeah, it is. Chris? Chris? That was insanity. I think this was the trail that I was on. Oh. Okay, which way, the f which way did I just come from? Chris! What the hell is this on the tree? This is not the way I came from. What the hell is that? There's like a random bottle on the tree and it's tied. It's obviously been there for a while. But what for? Chris! I don't know which way I came from. It had to be this way, but I don't... It's all light. I don't know if that's him or not. Oh shit, okay. I don't think that's him because that's too light. Let's see if we can see it through the trees here, guys. That's two lights. <laughs> now 
Now the lights have disappeared. Chris! That did not sound like Chris. Chris! Is that you? I'm trying to figure out which way I came from. I'm all turned around. Hang on, I keep seeing your light. Point it towards me. Okay, okay, okay. Chris? Chris? Yo, where are you at? Where you at? Chris? Oh shit, okay. Okay. Oh yo, why you got two lights on? Huh? Oh shit. Dude, you scared the shit out of me. I thought it was two people walking through the woods. Oh. Oh damn. Alright. Huh. I don't even know where I was at. I don't even know where I'm at right now. Did anything weird happen to you? How weird. I got to that side of the pond. Did you? Yeah. I don't know where the hell I was. Somewhere between here and Egypt. And uh, I actually, I think I'm on the other side of these hills. No, that's too many hills. I don't know. I was somewhere. I go back behind these hills and um, I'm standing there as so I'm, I'm like just watching because yeah. I thought I heard something. I thought it was you. So I yelled out Chris like three or four times. It wasn't you. I started walking away. I heard something. I turned back around. I'm scanning. All of a sudden, I swear to dude. Sounds like something was literally right in front of me. And it was like, like coming toward. I, as soon as it got like the sound was two feet from me, like, I was out. I, I froze in fear. Legit froze in fear. I thought it was an animal at first, moving, because I could hear like, yeah, hear like a little bit, and then all of a sudden, bull rushed. I was on a bridge in Gettysburg one time. Yeah. I don't know if that was with you or Dylan, but the same thing happened at that bridge. Really? So I'm not, I'm not sure. That's creepy. So I just, it does not feel good. Like I, I was just saying in my video, like I don't want to be hired because that's how I feel. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah. It doesn't feel right. Especially being split up. It feels off. Kind of far away. Oh my gosh. Like I don't know, there's just too much stuff left behind. Like I saw more stuff left of its equipment or house. Yeah. So why is there nobody living here anymore? I don't know. Could not tell you that. I don't have the uh, correct answer for that. Um, what do you want to do? What do you think? I don't know. I really don't know. That I, I was fine until then, and now all of a sudden I'm just like. I don't know. And then I got turned around. I don't know where I was or where yeah, I went. I saw a light like way up there, and I thought that was you. But then I I came this way because I heard you yell my name. But then you were down here, so I don't know what I saw up there. There was something back that way. I saw a light that way. Yeah, I thought it was you, but I don't think it was because you're over here. I don't know. Let's go to the hill and try to look. Oh my gosh! This was not the hill that I was at. Like I don't even know where the hell I'm at right now. Where at? Big hole right there. Yeah, it might have been an old one. I saw a light probably like 200 yards off that way. It was pointing at me, so I thought it was like you. I thought you were trying to like either with me, like scare me or something. No. Let's turn our light off and just look for other lights really fast. Ready? Three, two, one.
I'm not seeing anything, dude. But it, 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 it's weird because, like, the direction you walked in versus I walked in, we were... What is it? It's what? What is that noise? It's like a rumble. Yeah. I think I'm more comfortable camping up here. Up here? Yeah. You're above everything. Because uh, imagine this, like imagine like if you were standing up here or and then like there's people camping down there, like you're like watching them like, oh, you're, you're above them, you know? Wow. Dude, this is insanity. The, the feeling that I get right now, like, like the feeling that I have right now, just relaying this to all of you viewers, it literally just feels like there's someone around you at all times like the more i walked i was just like yeah. it felt like it got closed in closed in closed in well then it does it feels just like that yeah that, that way you felt too yeah okay so i'm not the only one that's feeling this so let me ask you this have you ever heard the story of the school bus driver i've heard it okay yes. so i was telling that story okay. and around the time i told that story about the bus driver who's never been found yeah is when i heard that running do you have a spirit box that we can fire up right now it's uh back at the campsite do you have anything on your phone, phone yeah okay so let's let's just do like a quick session here to where we just like see if that's weird because as soon as i had the app like starting to open is when i heard you yell really so you heard me scream scream earlier yes and then i had i literally was like in the app like this like it's already open wow i was about to get started okay so that that's weird that you that's strange that experience. i found up all right you ready so I'm going to do something here. I'm going to prop this camera up against the tree. Can you come over this way too? Yeah. Okay, give that to you. All right. I, um, oh, we're not. Okay. Yeah. Is the spirit of the bus driver here with us tonight? Yes. That was like a kid's yes. That was weird. One C. One C me. C is in right. Spain. Were you the one that just ran towards me a couple minutes ago? Why did your camera just stop? Oh, what the? <laughs> just stop your camera. That's insane. Bro, you got that on camera, right? Yeah. What the I'm going to borrow that footage, by the way. Yeah, you're fine. Did you just turn my camera off? Yeah. Absolutely. And Yours. <sighs> Did the bus driver turn my camera off? <laughs> okay, what was the name of the bus driver? What was that? Turn your light off. Branches broke. My lights off. Turn it on. Camping? I heard a branch break. I heard it too. Are you walking over there? Is that is that is someone walking over there? Are you trying to scare us out of the forest? Almost sound like you'll see. What was that? 
They keep hearing a bunch of shit over there. I am. Okay. What happened to the bus driver? I want to sound like behind? Yeah. Is he behind us? How many people were on the bus when it went missing? Twelve. That was a weird one. Yeah. Let me ask you this. What happened to the bus driver? Relax. We're relaxed. Kinda. I just got down on both my knees. Really? I'm comfortable. And it said relax. relax. Okay. Tell us what happened to the bus driver. Pushed. Out. Pushed out on steep hill. Steep hill. See, that's right. Right here. Wait. Is it in the water? Oh, shit. Seriously, like, I was over by a steep hill. Like a steep ass embankment I walked down. It was right to the water. That... I don't There's... know. You might be right, Chris. You really might be right on this. Killed. Killed. Far from your area. How far is it to the pond? Or the water? That's probably a good five minute walk. So far from your area, that'd be... Five time minutes. Oh, five time minutes. Camping hill. It's all about the hills. So they could be. It could be any of these hills. There's hills back there. Let's walk towards that other hill. This has got me intrigued right now because like, if it, like this is a steep hill, dude. You look down this, I mean, that's 15 feet at least. But like, here's the rumor about the bus. The full story about the bus was that it stopped. It was trying to take a shortcut to Furnace Town, right? Which would make sense because there is a major highway to do that way, okay? So, damn, we're gonna fall down this hill here. Um, so imagine this. So a lot of this back here, this was a driveway or a roadway, right? It had to be, right? That's how wide is it? So think about this. The school bus stops on a road, yeah. a back road headed to Furnace Town. Yeah. The driver gets out for some mysterious reason. All of a sudden, all these faces show up in the window. And then the, the teacher finally gets up to go find the bus driver yeah. and there's a skeleton laying outside of the bus. And no one ever found the bus driver ever again. But there are rumors that he was found, but no one knows. Like, there's no information except for just, like, folklore. Yeah, a little bit. So, I thought I was going to tell you, too, about coming down here. Like, the whole congestion thing. What the hell is that? What the f***? What are, you, what are you talking about, like congestion? The, when you get down to the spot I was at, trees, like there's these green trees on both sides and they come in like really tight. And like I was feeling that like right before. Chris? What? Battery again. Brand new How? battery. Brand new battery. Now dead. There's no way. Mine's at 80%. I just. I, I gotta go to the truck. Let's go. Let's go regroup. We probably need this. Hang on. This is intense. Wait, wait, wait. I have the battery in my pocket. Do you? Yeah. You keep recording just in case something pops off, you know? 
Yeah, I don't know how or why I walked all the way down there, but. Damn, that's creepy. You can't even man. see it. It's way, way, way down. I don't know how you did that. That's, I don't either. That's a little, that's a little gnarly, dude. I didn't use any apps. That's I just a walked. a little gnarly. Walked and talked. That's all you can do sometimes, just walk and talk. That is gnarly. Wow. It's a good time. I'm, I'm proud of you. That's. I, I was damn close to the road. I almost went right to the road. There's a road? It's the road that we drove in on. It's the road we drove in on. That's where I was. Are you sure? I was like, I checked my map, opened up my actual map just to look on my phone. So we could walk the road back? Yeah. Let's go down there then. Let me. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I just like, we talked about this before. Like, we get so paranoid. Like, there's no way there's other people out here, but it's not the people I'm even worried about at this point. It's like the things you could see and hear and experience. Yeah, that you can't. But they also shape you and change you. Yes. Because you have one bad experience out here, you might never come back. Exactly. Ever. That's kind of the crazy part about what we do, Chris. And some people just they don't have. They don't understand that sometimes no, either. Some people have those experiences, though, like in a house or something, they can never go back in. So your gamma battery's died twice so far. Twice. And we've had it stop recording for no reason. Yeah. Camera stopped recording for no reason. Two batteries down. I got two to go. Oh, Jesus. You got the <laughs> Do we have other cameras? cameras? Yeah, we have other cameras. I don't have enough batteries for both of us, but we got phones, I guess. I guess so. We'll make do. Anything's better than nothing, right? Yeah. All right, so fresh new camera battery now. You're good, right? Yeah, I'm good. Do as I'm going to do. I'm going to my hand on my flashlight, so I'm just going to leave it home. All right. Bet. Yeah, I feel like it starts like growing. Whatever it is. So you kind of trapped in. Jeez. Yeah, it starts like narrowing in on you, dude. I don't know, it was like really soft back there. My foot like <laughs> sunk in like about an inch or so. What the hell was that? There it is, I just looked them up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, this is like creepy back here, bro. Kudos to you for walking this far. Dude, I really don't know how I got all turned around back there. I really don't. Like, that was weird. What's the thing is, I saw a light over here, like, straight, like, straight out this way. Yeah, so my trail was running that way. You're way, you're down and around the corner. So to be over here. I think I saw someone else's light like then. Truthfully. Oh, shit. All right, so we're not at the, if, there was a video that I filmed here once. Is that water? Oh, is it? No way. What the hell? Yeah, it's water, bro. Oh. We're right here at the water. Look at all the fish. How do we not know? I have no clue. Wow. This is one of the weirdest areas I've ever been to. I know, this is strange as hell. I was just like waiting to walk around this corner and see somebody standing here. Oh, jeez. So, I filmed a video here back in like 2019, maybe, yeah, 2019, 2020, something like that. I came and camped out here alone, but it was on the north end of the forest. It was actually, you know that cemetery that we go and go on at? It's that cemetery. I parked, oh, that's weird. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I just thought, what the fuck is that? Whoa. Dude, that's a f house. What? It's the bottom to a house, bro. What the? F what? No way. I don't know how I'm gonna get up this hill because it's straight up. 
Oh. Look at the Oh my gosh. What's in there? Bro, it's like the basement. Um I'm good. You can't go there, I'm like It's not huge though, but it ain't small either. Like some some sort of structure. Like some sort of structure was here. This is like one of the coolest finds I've ever actually like come across. Right? Like, wow. Wait, so is there more up there? It might be. Can you imagine having a house on the scene like this pond? It would be so cool. Like, what happens when you're in there? I don't know. Dude, there's so many hills. In like the flattest state in the world. Literally. I'm back in New York. Right now. So, Dude, yeah. can you imagine if we were in infrared mode? You're just walking along and then boom, fall down in that? You'd break your leg. You'd really break your leg. There's another one right there. That's something. Where? That and that right there. You gotta be. Is that a bridge right there? It's the bridge of Terabithia. I knew it was real. What the f what the f is that noise? Dude, it's like deep down in there. What is that light? There's something reflecting on the ground right there. Let's go towards it. Is that actually a bridge or a tree? No, it's just a tree. So it's all water down there? I think so, yeah. Like, if that was a house, where the hell is... Huh? Is that another one right there? Is that stone? Is it stone or is that, uh, like, wood? You go look at that. I'll go look at this little... reflector thing. All right, so that's definitely just a reflector. It fell off a tree or something. This is the weirdest area I've ever been in inside the Pokemoke. By far. There's a tire right there, that's nice. I don't know what I'm walking on, but it's all squishy. Hey Chris, you wanna come this way? It's just strange. Like the area like feels creepy, I guess, for lack of a better term. That's what it feels like, isn't it? Go shine your light back that way. Okay. Jeez, it's deep in here, dude. Oh yeah, a two with an arrow, buddy. That is, that is thick in it, huh? This is not for the faint part. 
No, so, yo, there's only an arrow leading this way and this way. So I went this way. I was on, I was oh, so here. there's, okay, this way. Damn, you went all the way up here? Yeah. How the hell did you miss the brick, like, the house structure? I know. I think I was just so scared. I was just, like, walking and talking. I don't blame you. Look how, look how this closes in on you, dude. I like a feeling. I went down this. I'm having another one of those feelings right now, Chris. Yeah? Where there's, like, what the hell is that? Is that not the weirdest shaped looking tree, E.T. looking thing ever? Uh -huh. That's There's no way it's a tree. That's it's a, a tree. Or it's like a damn sword. That's weird. I was down there. Down there? Yeah, down a little bit there. Jeez. Yeah. Termites got that thing. How close are we to the road? Um, where am I at? Closer than you think. The road is like probably in front of us, almost directly. Really? Well, I think we'll go left a little bit. See up the top. Is this trail uh, like the one to follow or? I'd imagine so. Next time, I'm going I'm to get you to get a map. I didn't think that we needed it. <laughs> As professional explorers. <laughs> you would think we would know where stuff is. Where we will explore and find it. Oh yeah, here. This has got to be the road up here because there's a gate. Oh. Damn, bud. We found it. Did it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, well, I say we uh, turn, we, we have to turn left, right? Yeah. Why are there bones right there? Weird. Someone goes down here, there's like a free spot. Single lane road, no trailer turnaround. Okay. Oh my gosh. Do you think maybe the school bus is like, okay, that? Let's say theoretically that gate would open back then. If they drove down there. The road could have been just like the Pokemon road, like sandy but hard. It it could be. That that road right there that we were walking on had yeah. some soft spots, right? It did. But you're looking at erosion over the course of 40, 50, 60 years. Oh, wow. Something like that. I personally think that that could be a plausible road right there. And and like so it's like some people theorize it was um one of the roads near the cemetery, but I don't necessarily know. That's a straight shot. From the cemetery to Furnace Town is a straight shot. Straight Think about that. There's there's no other road that you would take for a shortcut for that. Yeah, so if you were coming from the um I'm turning around. If yeah. If you were coming from the south What was that noise? Sounds like old man river taking a leak. What is that? That water ain't moving. No? Oh yeah it is, okay. Oh it's a log. That sounds like me in the morning. Just going and going and going and just don't stop. I should put my hand up on the window sometimes just how I lean there. Yeah, my balance is a little off in the mornings. So yeah, think about that. The theory of the road. Now, again, this is this is where you all come into play too, just as much as we are. Like, yeah, we're out here right now, but it takes what I call an army, the face and nation army right now to help solve these different things. It doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna solve this, but like viewers help so much when they give their opinions. So when all of you comment below, it literally helps. And if you've seen on the past couple of videos, I've hearted almost every single comment within 48 hours of posting that video. So let's do this. What? Okay. So let's do this right now. Everybody pause the video. Give me your opinion. If the bus was coming from the north end or the south end, it could have hit one of these roads trying to get to Furnace Town quicker, Easily. I guess. I don't know. It's just... It's very possible. I would like to talk to one of the kids that was on the bus that witnessed all that. You, you, you know what I mean? Like... <sighs> Man, that would be amazing.
I'm gonna set up our rim pod too. Put this right here. What? I'm just seeing. I don't know. I'm seeing lights tonight. Yo, I'm I saw lights. one back there earlier, just I'm, like like not even six seconds ago. Oh, seeing lights. Um, can you fire up one of the spirit boxes on yours? Maybe like a different app. Different app, yeah. Oh, I did that. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. What do you want to use both of those? I'm like. Can you say daddy? See daddy. Do not say that. Does CJ need to stop drinking pre-workout? Because it makes him too horny. <laughs> what? You guys only do what I do on the daily. <laughs> Looks like I got boobs. <laughs> Sorry. Look. <laughs> perky D's, perky D's. <laughs> Double D daddies, but I'm gonna start calling you. <laughs> yeah, D daddy. Oh shit, I got chips. <clears throat> Alright, you can start it now. You ready? <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm putting this back. No, you're good. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> you ask some questions. You lead this one off. Alright. Ask some in-depth stuff. Alright, cool. Who's your daddy? What's your name? Oh, I'm just kidding. So what's the story of this campground? Can, can you tell us what happened here? Why is it haunted? Behind you? That was like a whisper it said behind you. Behind you, say it again. Did a traumatic event happen behind us? Why are you behind us? There, here. Tell us where we need to look, what direction. Why is it silent? Almost sound like eyes that was whispered. Eyes? Like, are you watching us? Is it okay if we camp here tonight? I said, get the <clears throat> out ring. Is it going to rain tomorrow? It's supposed to rain tomorrow, I think. Let me check the weather here real quick. Hmm. Is the rain going to start while we're camping tonight? Camping tonight? Camp. Sorry. Sorry. 9 a.m. All right, we brought our summer tent, so we make sure we're out of here by 9 o'clock. Right. Are we in danger being here right now? How far from here was the school bus driver killed? You'll see. Can you lead us to where that happened? Tickle? Please don't tickle me. You're good. Thank you. Is the energy here good or bad? Good. Good. That's good. No. Can you tell us how intelligent you are? Can you tell us our names? Crystal for. Wow, buddy. Did you hear that or no? <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Someone just whistle? 
That was a whistle. Can you do it again? It was definitely behind us in that way. Uh -huh. Yeah. Can you whistle again? Tree. Mm-hmm. Are you standing under the tree that we're looking at? Sorry, I saw something over there before. Can you walk over to us? Are you crazy? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to have that shit happen again. Are we sitting or standing right now? Mm, that's a good question. I think it's a pig tank. Leaves. Food. <laughs> they said food. Food? I know I'm hungry. Bring me some. God damn, I know DoorDash does not <laughs> deliver out here. I got a bag of chips for the rest of the night. Oh, I this truck. Got to ration them now. Is there anything you want us to know? Listen. You say God is real? Mm-hmm. It's not real. It's almost like good and evil, kind it's of like going like back and forth. It does. Because you get a yes and you get a no right after. Yeah. God. Yo, whoa, 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 what the f is that? What the f is that? Shine your light that way. Is that a damn trail? No, wait, what? What the? Well, I did not see that earlier. You really should have came here in the daytime. Yeah, you think? The trail is there too. Or maybe you should have got a map. <laughs> Shut I'm up. saying. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so there's like... Jeez. Jeez. Oh, mm. There's too many trails. Can somebody oh. come up and touch this right here? All you gotta do is just touch it like this. Or like that. It got real quiet all of a sudden. Very quiet. Are you not powerful enough? Or are you too weak to touch the red light? That's what it sounds like. Don't gotta be scared of us. We don't bite. Huh. It's like a yeah. It's like louder, Dude, it's it's literally yeah, turn it up louder. It's it's like three to four people trying to conversate. Hide. Hide. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. I don't want to hide tonight. Get on. Tree. Who? Tree. Tree. Behind you? I heard that. Bridge. The bridge. What is it? Who are we talking to? 
command. What tree? Keep up. Oh, that's it. Oh, wow. Jump. Table. Table. Yeah, we're gonna have to help us in the comments, you guys. Like, it's hard to hear right now. Tell us about the bus driver. Kids. Huh? It's a kids. Kids? Okay, kids are head, yeah. I... What happened to the bus driver? School? He left. He was beat? Bully. Re really, or bully? Yeah. His woods? Domestic, and then what that say? The light. The Turn light. Off the light. Turn off the light. Oh, that's a good idea. I mean, you want to try it for just like a second? The lights. Damn, geez. Put my hood up. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm surrounded. All right, we turn the lights off. Oh, this one's good, right? Huh? This don't feel right. No, it does not feel right at all. What happened to the kids? Yo, turn that off. What? Turn that off. Turn the light on. Yeah. Turn it back on. Dude, I just feel like, I feel so f***ing over there now. I feel like there's like, there's like legitimately like something like right near me. I can't breathe. Coming through. Where are you coming through at? Are you talking about the bus? Tomorrow. tomorrow. What about tomorrow? Let me take it off. Sure. Your soul. You can take your soul. What the f tomorrow? Why tomorrow? It's Sunday. It's like the, the peaceful day. Let's do it today. The bus. The bus. Killed. Tell us more. What if we don't leave?
too. I said we turn the lights back on because that yeah, that's. I, just, I literally got for about thirty milliseconds of a minute. I could not breathe. <clears throat> like really? my chest was so tight. I started to get really cold. Really? Yeah, like super, super cold is what I was feeling. This thing's not going off not one time. I know. That's the weirdest thing. It's on. Oh, I couldn't breathe. That was weird. You good though? I felt just like everything tightened up. Like we said, it said turn the light off, and I felt like it just like came around me and was just like over me, and I just couldn't move. It was weird. I. I right. almost feel like the longer that we stay here, <clears throat> it's like a, it's whatever is here is trying to trick us. Yeah, for sure. It's like there's something that makes you feel comfortable, but then like, to me, I had so when we were walking back there in the woods, I had this weird feeling, and then I got distracted with that house and like the basement thing or whatever it could have yeah. been. I got, I got this strange feeling that I got when I was at Indiana State Sanatorium. I'm not trying to freak you out right now or anything. At ISS. Yeah. When I was walking down one of the halls, it felt like in every doorway, there was a patient or two mm -hmm. standing in the doorway just like looking, like locked eyes with you the whole time. Okay. It felt uncomfortable. When we were back that way, it felt that way. Yep. All of a sudden, when we turned those lights off, it could just be us being paranoid, which happens in this forest a lot. It does. I felt like there was a 360 degree people around us. It's legitimately what it felt like to me, and I... I'm just explaining to you viewers like what we're feeling so you understand the gist of it. You're at home. It's cold here. The f*** was that? I swear to f*** something just ran by that tent. I swear. Is that any scary talker? Yeah, uh, finally, she's gonna always tell us anything. That's what it's saying here. <sighs> Somebody just run by the tent. What do you have, spirit talk going on? We're just gonna leave it on while we're talking. Just... I think another variable that we're not thinking about here <clears throat> is. I, dude, I just thought of this. What's that? Just thought of this. Let me look something up really quick. Right here. What happened? Right here. The light that we're seeing. Yeah. So I brought up some of the old wise tales. And... One of them is about a fireball. Okay. Okay? And I'm going to read you all this. A guy from Westover, Maryland, was driving his car through the Pokemon Forest to Snow Hill. He looked ahead, saw a very bright object. The closer he got, the brighter the object became until finally it was directly in front of him about by 30 to 35 yards. He couldn't tell whether it was yellow or green. Oh, that was you moving. Since the object was blocking the road, he could only get 25 yards in front of it. Suddenly, his car cut off, and he came to an abrupt stop directly in front of the object. Too frightened to do anything, he sat in the car and watched it. It looked like a big yellow box. After 15 minutes passed, the object slowly drifted off into the woods. The man's car automatically started and finished his trip driving down the road, and this was told by Harvey B., a 25-year-old, back in 1970. The second version of the ball of fire, which people see, which could explain some of the lights that we're seeing. Yep. Yeah. Could be a weird phenomenon, right? But then check this out. In about 1921, Paul Walker was holding a revival back in the Pocomoke Forest out past the West Post Office at Pine Ridge. Several of the local women had been converted and some of their husbands were unhappy about it. They got together to take the guns and beat up the evangelists and burn the church down. When they got to the church, the leader of the group got up to the front door. It was open but couldn't get in. He was literally paralyzed. As the others tried to get in, a ball of fire descended on the roof. It split into two and went down the sides of the church, scaring them away. That's what the man said. That was told by Mr. P. Morris, a college instructor at Salisbury University, age 29. So, wow. I mean... We're, I mean, we're seeing these lights. This isn't the, we're not the first ones who've had this type of experience, essentially. I don't think so. This happens a lot out here. <clears throat> I think... 
you're burning down churches. Like you're not. It's not good energy. No, you're you're. Yo, I just said I'm a good person. Do you have your? Oh, look, it said I'm a good person in blood. Why, blood? why isn't it saying it? I turned it down. I know, yeah, turn it all the way up. Yeah. You. So when you were talking about the fireball the first time, mm -hmm. it said blood right then. Which was really? Like, when I heard you say fireball, it said blood. So people are often like all the time saying like, "Hey, I see a fireball," and, and like, hey, it get. You don't know what to believe. Oh, you have no idea. It's tough. That's I don't point. mean to scare you. Okay. Is there like a howl or a scream or something? Almost sound like somebody's brakes like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. Oh, my God. Okay. That's not brakes. What the f is that? I don't know. Is that bears out here? I don't think so. I wish someone <laughs> would just touch that red light. Like, I want that thing to go off. Yeah. If the rim pod would go off, that would be incredible. I'm gonna put this next to it. There's two red lights. You can talk into this one and you can touch the other one. What's that? I'm just broke over there. Mm hmm. And I run a big, like, Bigfoot believer, but after the night we had with Amber yeah. three, three weeks ago, like, I'm starting to think that they, like, might be a thing or some some form. I think it's more spiritual or something yeah. than mm -hmm. rather, like, an actual. Well, I think there's something to it. Trees don't just bend like that. So you just said I don't mean to scare you. What's your, what's your reason for being here? Francis. Francis, okay. What's your reason for being here, though? Are you trapped? Do you want to leave? Do you not want to leave? Raymond. Raymond, okay. Is Raymond holding you here? Where's that noise coming from? No. It sounds like it's like that way. Like come up to it. Is Francis or Raymond potentially the name of the school bus driver? Or one of the kids who was on it? What is that? Is that an owl? Might be. Can you confirm if that's an owl? Yes or no? I'm pretty sure that's... Why is my battery going low again? Again? I, I'm, I'm done with this damn camera, dude. Third one tonight. Oh! oh, oh what the f*** was that, mother Dude, turn your... Like that way. God. Oh, what? That was God. That was not him. Oh. There's no. What the f was that? Oh. Holy shit, bro. Yo, who's out there? What's out there? It ripped my arm off the f table. <sighs> They're gonna knock me over. I'm about face. to knock somebody's ass out. Dude, what? Like, I scan over here. Before my camera runs out of battery. You got sleep on here? I'm starting to think this might not be the greatest idea. Well, that's a guy that's coming in that noise. My sleeping bag is looking mighty fine right now. Yeah. It's very lonely here. No shit. There ain't nobody here. There nobody lives out here anymore. Lonely? Is that what you try to get our attention? It's not the way to get my attention is by literally, I, I, dude, I thought I was going to get drugged through the woods right then. Like, I, my heart stopped. <laughs> Left your body. I guess I'd put another battery in this damn camera.
Four hours till sunlight. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> so as you can tell, we've uh, we've spent multiple hours with nothing happening. We're happy, very happy about it, but yet kind of disappointed. What was that? That's from another video right there. I got your gloves and <laughs> in your hot hands. <laughs> Would you say the problem's what? I can see you. <laughs> There's no protection in these tents. Oh my gosh. Summer tents. It's li it's like living in a damn fishbowl. <laughs> it's gonna be so cold, dude. <laughs> no. Mm, mm, mm. It was you, me, and me, man. It's so cold. So it's like so cold I, that I'm like, don't want to take my boots off, but I kind of have to. Yeah. The hell was that? Oh no. Was that you? No. What did I just hear? Huh? That? What was what? Like a rumble. Why are you looking back my way like that way? You hear that? Oh shit, what is that? I don't know. They should stay in your tent. All these kids. I feel so vulnerable right now. Like, you can like look in here. I'm not trying to freak you out, dude, but the last time that I was in the Pokemon Forest, I was on the other side of it. That's that's the story I was going to tell earlier, too. There, like, legit, there was a dude that walked up on me. Like, I saw flashlights in the woods earlier in the night. I swear to f***. And, yeah, no, no, no joke, dude. And I was sleeping, left the camera recording, the light died, and then you see this flashlight walking up towards my tent, and the guy, like, I'm assuming it was a guy, like looks in my tent and then like keeps on walking. Now you telling me? Hey, what's that between you and me? Okay, that's a tree. Never mind. All right, good. What's that? What'd you say? Might as well leave the door open. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. Hell no. Something could crawl in there like a damn... Spider, dog, snake, coyote. That's going to be the next investment is air mattresses. You know what I'm going to do? And I, I don't know if anybody would actually do this, but if you want to send an air mattress to P.O. Box 236, Felton, Delaware, 19943. <laughs> oh, a Tempur-Pedic would be nice. I'm doing my fan mail videos again, so if you all um, want to send fan mail, like a note or like a card or whatever you want to send, you can send whatever. I'm going to be opening one camera and on live streams again. Oh my gosh. Dude, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep with this light on. Oh. What is this? Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Oh. I have all these layers on and I'm still freezing. Oh. Oh shit, it is toasty. Are you walking around outside your tent? No, I'm inside my tent. Why? Oh, cool. Yeah. What? What, do you hear something? Yeah, I'm just trying to turn that in, though. You hear walking? Oh, yeah. I'm going to Oh, gosh. Dude, we really need air mattresses bad. It hurt. Hell yeah, it does. I can't tell if I'm sleeping, like, with my head downhill or uphill. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. I, I cannot tell. When I wake up in the morning, all the blood's rushing to my head, I'll know. 
So, <clears throat> just relaying information to you all. Like, I'm paranoid because I can't see out of the tent right now. But I'm also fine knowing that Chris is here, right? So, there's a level of... How do I even explain this? There's a level of comfort, but there's also like a level of paranoia still. Especially with everything that happened earlier in the night, and I'm sitting right next, or like laying next to the picnic table, technically. I still can't really explain what happened when it, it legitimately felt like someone grabbed my arm and like yanked it. And, um, I don't know. Chris. 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 Yeah. Chris. What's up? Chris, there's somebody walking around my tent. Yeah. I swear to you, it sounded like somebody was walking around my tent. Yeah. I don't know where. I'm a, I, 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 yo, so I woke up and my hands were freezing. Yeah. I was hungry. Typical. I thought it was me crunching on chips, but like, what do you mean? dude, it sounded like somebody was walking around the tent. I had to play it back. I think it was recording. There ain't nobody around. And, and it's, the, the sky is it's cloudy. It's about to rain tomorrow. Where did they go anyways? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't understand, like... Damn. My gloves got me in here somewhat. Good morning. What do you want to do? What's that? What do you want to do? I'm going to go look around. 
Huh? You can do whatever you want. You can come with me, you can stay in, it doesn't matter to me. That's like like I mean To me it's like I don't know. I don't know what it is. But like it feels to me that there's like it's like just something. You know, I, I don't know. I feel very uncomfortable. But I also want to go back to sleep. I mean Yeah. First off, what time is it? It's three thirty eight. I don't know if y'all can see it. Huh? It's either late or early, whatever you want to call it. Ha! <laughs> it's early if you're like working class, like going out on a job site, you'd probably be waking up right now. <laughs> For us it's late. <laughs> For us it's late. This is wild. Let me know if you need me, I'm pretty warm in my sleeping bag so I can get out of here. Yeah, you're good, man. It does. The energy is just wild, bro. It's off. Huh? I don't know. It might be this, just the forest. I don't, I don't really know. What the hell is that? Shells or something. Dude, it's so cold. I don't know if it's just because I got out of my sleeping bag, but it feels like it's like 20 degrees colder. Walking, you can hear them. What is that? Hello?
the weirdest paranormal thing ever. It's like you hear... What? What'd you say, Chris? Chris? What'd you say? Over here. Oh shit, I see a spider. Oh, I see a spider. There he is. What are you doing, little guy? Is that you? Bro, okay. yeah, so I found water down there, right? And I'm like standing at the water and I can hear someone like, or something walking, but it wasn't like four, you can tell when it's a deer or a four legged animal. Yeah. It was two steps, it was always like this. It was like one, two, one, two. And I kept hearing it, but it's in the distance. But I mean, I, I don't know. What is that? There you go. Hello? My light's about to die. Is that 17 percent? Shit. I think we're just paranoid, man. I think we're just hearing stuff. Think so? I think we're a part of me thinks it's just us being paranoid. The other part of me thinks like, okay, we're actually like getting us some good stuff on camera. right now <sighs> so right now it's three shit three forty five it's just like it's so cold I don't know how many we have sleep I was warm in the sleeping bag. What is this trail? I was warm in the sleeping bag, but like, I'm like, I, dude, I think, I think the whole thing about paranoia sitting in, hang on, let me get my camera to focus in. There we go. I think the whole paranoia thing is like really messing with us. What the hell is this? Oh, this is water. Whoa. This is wild. Whoa. That was like a bus horn. That was a little bus horn. That's not a train, bro. You would hear the rumble of the train. And they blow the horn way more like, oh, oh. Did we actually just hear that? Am I dreaming right now or something? Is this like an out of body experience? Is that, is that like possible? Like lucid dream or whatever. Oh, what are you looking at? I don't know, it's just like, I've been seeing things out there. Huge. I just keep thinking there's like cars in here or something. Dude, I'm, I swear to you, point your light right there. It looks like a tire track right there to your right. It does, right? Right, right there, there. And then over on the left. Literally, my, we might have to get the boat out here. Yeah, we might have to take the boat out of here. That's the, the horn thing. 
That's weird, dude. That's like the last rock for me. Like, I'm just... Do we just try to go to bed and sleep this off at this point? Because, like, what else do you do? You know what I mean? Like, we're this far into the night. We might as well just, like, ride it out. I got one bar on my battery left. It's already made it this far, right? I mean, whatever you want to do. It's just hard to sleep feeling like you're being watched through your crystal clear tent. Yeah, I know. So it's like being in a fishbowl, like you said. This one is walking. Maybe it's for annoying, like you said to you. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't know, it's like, it's paranoia, yeah, but paranormal, probably. Dude, all we gotta do is literally just make it to sunrise, that's it. Ten four.